In my initial three four years of this journey, I realized that this industry needs a lot of professionalism, a lot of uh, you know there was a lack of trust, transparency in the way transaction happens, and uh, there was a lot of inefficiency in the ways the transactions happen in our country. Okay, so the major issue which I realized was. uh you know the information was not available at a single place so we have information portals like 99 acres magic bricks all the listing platforms we have information available with the brokers there are individual developers who are selling inventories but there is no single consolidated marketplace where the real estate's entire comprehensive market information is available to a buyer so that's the first problem i felt second problem i felt was the transaction and the ease of closing a sale so there the trust the documentation part the price uh, you know discovery so you a buyer does not know what is the real price of a asset so whatever a developer is quoting whatever a, a you know a broker is quoting or the seller is quoting so there is no objective way to arrive at a price so first part is search second part is price and third part is transaction experience overall including the registration home loans and the closing experience so ravi if you go and buy a car today in india if you go and buy a jewelry today even of 10000 rupees in from a tanish showroom or from any other showrooms so the type of experience you get and you compare that experience with the experience you get in real estate hmm. so real estate is a big transaction one of the biggest transaction a person do probably in his or her lifetime and the type of experience a person gets in india so definitely there is lot desired there is lot to be done and that's where i felt the need that you know people who have uh, you know as far as i am concerned i am from iit i understand technology though i don't do coding but i can really understand what technology can do to this space so that's the background and that's the reason why you know property bustle started we started property bustle and uh, i hope i have answered your query yes let let's dig deeper right so you mentioned that some of the other portals like 99 acres a uh, missed having comprehensive information about the buyer what kind of information would a buyer need which uh, which otherwise the other portals do not have right so ravi let's say you are based out of bandra in mumbai a right. buyer you know a general mm-hmm. buyer is based out of bandra in mumbai okay now let's say the buyer is looking for a 3 bhk apartment in bandra region mm-hmm. so there is a hypothetical universe of options at any given point in time which are available in bandra region 3 bhk let's say my budget is 5 crore rupees right right so there is a hypothetical universal options which are available a hypothetical set of properties which are available on sale now this comprehensive hypothetical set of options are not available at a single place mm. you will find some of them on 99 acres why 99 acres magic bricks will not have all of them is simply because people who pay get to advertise on their portals i see right people who do not pay they were they will not get a space on those portals so 99 and magic bricks are actually serving the interest of advertisers i see who are not serving the interest of the buyers but because we have those portals it's easy to access so they have become the first port of call for a search on the internet but mm. they are not comprehensive right because people they pay you pay 99 acres and magic bricks and you get your property listed got it so it's a listing pl- pl- platform for the developers for the advertisers not for the buyers developers and brokers so they both pay and then you know they can advertise but from the buyer's point of view there will be many options which are not there on 99 acres of magic bricks but they will be there in that hypothetical universe right mm. those options will be there with other developers those options in the primary where the developer is the seller fresh properties 
एंड सेकेंडरी मार्केट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ब्रोकर कंट्रोल दैट सेकेंडरी मार्केट सो दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन मे नॉट बी ऑन नाइनटी नाइन एकर्स बट देर विल बी मोर प्रॉपर्टी ऑप्शन वेन यू गो डाउन एंड डिग डीपर इन टू द मार्केट सो दैट्स द रीजन वाई अ ट्रांजेक्शन इन इंडिया टेक सो लॉन्ग Hmm. Okay. So let, let's let's understand. So why don't you define what property pistol is today? I'm sure property pistol had its own evolution from the day it was uh, conceptualized till today. So how do you define property pistol today? So property pistol in terms of a future roadmap, in terms of what we have done so far. Okay. So I will first give you a brief of what is our future roadmap. what is it that a vision of the company is as i said the biggest problem in real estate is consolidated market information real time updated on a single place true what the biggest problem to solve in real estate industry what i feel and that is what property pistol is trying to do okay now why how do we do that is we we consolidate the developers we consolidate the brokers and we ensure that all developers are there on the platform and all brokers are there on the platform and they share their inventory with us and we create a platform which is having a comprehensive market information on the platform so that's the objective of the company now as far as current status of property visual is concerned we are there out on that journey so what we have done so far is we have become the top selling partners with almost all the top developers in the country hmm. so we sell close to 5500 crores worth of property last year we sold this much and uh, uh, you know we are top sellers with almost all the top developers in the country from uh, you know if you talk from south to north and we have offices across 14 cities in the country then internationally we have three locations so almost 1300 odd employees work in the company so that has been the evolution and that has been what is the next uh, you know the vision for the company 